Our topic today may sound dry. It's guidance documents, and it's specifically the ICH E20 draft guidance on adaptive designs. So what is the ICH E20? The International Council for Harmonization, that's the ICH, of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. That you did make go, it really exciting right there, Scott. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did. So a key word of this, I think, is harmonization. And this is really, can they come to a harmonization, an agreement on guidelines for clinical trials interacting with regulators. And this is harmonization across regulatory agencies global. EMA, PMDA, FDA, global countries. So the important part here is that this is essentially a document which is saying this is okay, this is mildly controversial, this may be more controversial. Nothing in here says you can or can't do anything, but it's certainly giving here's the kind of issues we worry about. It provides a structure for how to talk to regulators. It sets up the playing field and essentially says, these are the kind of things that are always in bounds. These are the things that are, you're gonna need more discussion. So Kurt, the first time you read it, what did you think? First off, this is a really interesting place to be because where we are is the public comment period. So the natural thing to do is immediately dive into issues. But I think the, the big picture is the first place to start. And by and large, this is a great document. 